This video is sponsored by Squarespace. By the way, I read your file. I'm poor, you're poor. We're gonna fix that, all right? You work for me now. Welcome back Autobots, Decepticons, and everything in between to another episode of Fixing Transformers. And in today's we're going to take a look at what happened to Leo after Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now if you don't remember who Leo Spitz was, here's a quick recap on him. Leo was introduced to us as Sam's roommate in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. After making some small talk, he would show Sam his so-called empire, TheRealEffingDeal.com a webpage dedicated to exposing the truth that the government was trying to hide. That truth being that giant robots from outer space were living among us. With the page running smoothly thanks to the help of his two friends, Sharsky, his web designer, and Fazbinder, his coder. Later, Leo would let Sam in on a little secret, that being his massive crush on her fellow classmate Alice, but not as all as it seems. Since later in the film after assaulting Sam, Alice reveals her true colors, being a pretender, a type of Cybertronian that could disguise himself as a human. And in a future video, I will dive into her origin, so stay tuned. But now moving back onto the topic at hand, Alice will be later killed by Sam's girlfriend Michaela, using a stolen car. But the trio was not out of the woods yet, since Grinder swooped down and took them to an abandoned factory, where Megatron was chilling. Leo would watch as Sam was being tortured by Megatron. Now the reason why Megatron was doing this was because earlier in the film, a fragment of the Allspark downloaded information about an Energon source into Sam's brain, and Megatron needed this info to be able to restore Cybertron. So Scapel was called in to extract Sam's brain. But before the procedure could start, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee stormed in to save Sam and friends. Leo and Michaela would leave the factory in Bumblebee while Sam went with Optimus. Though Leo was now safe, he wasn't safe from the law. Since in the events after leaving the factory, Optimus was killed, the United States and other countries around the globe were attacked by the Decepticons, along with the Fallen sending out a message saying more destruction will occur if they did not hand over Sam to them. With the media now looking into the story, it was only a matter of time until Leo's involvement would be exposed to the world. With him now being a wanted fugitive alongside his friends, he began to realize he was way in over his head and did not want to be involved anymore. But after taking in the magnitude of the threat facing the Earth, he decided to come back and help Sam, telling him about a guy by the name of Robo Warrior. And Robo Warrior turned out to be former government agent Seymour Simmons. And he would help Sam and friends make a plan to talk to a Decepticon who would understand the symbol Sam was seeing. And luckily for them, they did not need to look far, since Michaela had one with her the whole time. And that Decepticon was Wheelie. And Wheelie would be the key to understanding what the symbols meant. Since he took Sam and the gang to a Decepticon seeker, who was able to read them. Now from here on out, Leo would tag along with Sam and friends throughout the rest of the movie. Eventually when the battle was won, Leo would be last seen on the aircraft carrier next to Michaela. And though Michael Bay said Leo would have a bigger role in Dark of the Moon, he clearly did not, since Leo never shows up nor is mentioned. So now this brings us back to the question, what happened to Leo after Transformers Revenge of the Fallen? But before we jump into that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Squarespace. Now Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that lets you create a stunning and beautiful website, which you can use for your online presence. Whether that be an online blog talking about alien robots that turn into cars roaming the streets, to an official business, Squarespace has you covered. Squarespace is very user-friendly, meaning you can make the website of your dreams with no coding experience whatsoever. I love how you can add your social media posts to your website, since it's a fast and efficient way for others to find you, along with the embedded video feature showing your videos right on the page. So if any of this interests you, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you believe your website is ready, go to squarespace.com slash transtheories to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. And I want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now the explanation on why Leo disappeared after Transformers Revenge of the Fallen is surprisingly pretty straightforward. You see, it all goes back to when he realizes that he's way in over his head. In all the scenes before he realizes that fact, Leo portrays himself as wanting the real deal, being the one to stand up and expose the media's cover-up, and to be the one to unmask the truth of the Transformers to the public eye. He even proclaims that he is the key to this. Look at this. Half of Shanghai gets tricked and China says gas leak. Don't believe the hype, bro. Mainstream media sack. They're lying to us, all right? It's aliens, okay. man. Who are you? You're not the points of the Leon Spitz, okay? I'm the key to this. The aliens, they want me because of my sight. But when he gets the real deal and the media starts exposing him, all of a sudden he wants to opt out and go to the authorities. 
whoa, 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 okay? I'm not even with you guys. Technically, I'm like a hostage. This is kidnapping. So you guys forced me into that car, right? So, listen, Sam, I know what I'm gonna do, man. Look, I'm just gonna go to the authorities and tell them the truth. Like, I had nothing to do with this. I'm gonna hey, come. Hey. And surprisingly enough, this does get addressed by Sam in the film when he calls Leo out on his hypocrisy. Truth, like, I had nothing to do with this. I'm gonna hey, come. Hey, hey, you wanted this, right? You wanted the real deal? That's what this is. Wake up, you're in the middle of it. You wanna run? Go ahead, no one's stopping you. Stop complaining. Leo eventually does come back to help Sam, blaming why he left due to all the traumatic events that happened that day. Oh, look, we can't sashay him back. I had a bit of a mild panic attack earlier, right? I think I'm allowed that considering what I've been through. And I heard you have a problem. I think I know someone who can help. Robo warrior. And I believe Leo is telling the truth, since anyone in Leo's position would have a panic attack. And luckily, he came back and told Sam about Robo Warrior. I honestly think if he did not know about Robo Warrior, he would have never came back to help Sam. A minute detail in this scene is that Sam scoffs at Leo when he said he may know someone who can help. I think I know someone who can help. Who? 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 So what does this have to do with him disappearing? Well, it all plays into why he left. Since after he does decide to help, throughout the rest of the film, he wants to back out and even has a panic attack. Whoa, whoa, no, listen. I can't do this. Yes. I'm not some alien bounty hunter, all right, guys? I'm not going to do this. <laughs> oh, God, please. God, please. Yo, stop. Hey, yeah, stop bringing up. Shut this, this guy up, huh? There was a deleted scene in Egypt where Leo protested about finding the Tomb of the Primes. That's it. No mas. I'm not going anywhere, right? And you guys are crazy. You don't even know where you're going. So with all this information at hand, clearly the real deal lifestyle did not turn out the way Leo thought it would, even though he had the courage to go back to Sam after he left. He still knew he was way in over his head. So keeping that in mind, I believe Leo wanted a normal lifestyle without all the alien stuff. After getting a fist full of it firsthand, I would assume Leo would mutually cut ties with Sam. Since if you think about it, Sam was the main reason why Leo got wrapped up in this mess. He would also do this to permanently sever anything Transformers out of his life. Since it did not cause just one, but two panic attacks out of him. With him being scarred by the things he encountered, from Alice turning out to be a robotic psychopath, to watching Megatron torture Sam, to nearly getting blown up by Starscream, and barely surviving getting sucked into Devastator's Vortex Grinder. That whole experience would scar anyone not ready. So with that said, I believe after the Battle of Egypt, Leo would want to live a normal life, without the involvement of Transformers, after realizing it wasn't what he truly wanted. And fun fact, during the scene when Sam's in astronomy class, he is sitting next to Leo, but during the end credits scene when he gets back to college, Leo is nowhere to be found, backing up the theory that he wanted to cut ties with Sam. As for what happened to TheRealEffingDeal.com, it is safe to say that Leo was briefed by the FBI to not say anything about what happened in Egypt, since the military wanted to keep Operation Firestorm under wraps until the public was ready, and due to the nature of the site, it was likely forced to be shut down to make sure nothing would leak out to the public. And the site really would not pose much relevance after Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Since soon after the Battle of Egypt, governments around the globe disclose that Transformers are real, evident by Energon detectors protecting DC, and the media questioning if we need the Autobots. And just like that, that was what happened to Leo Spitz. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, check out the Fixing Transformers playlist for some more awesome theories. But before I go, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. It means a lot and keeps my channel running, so big fat thank you to you. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, Rain, because it helped the channel a lot. With that said, hit that outro.